Can you imagine being asleep and hearing that in the middle of the night? The sounds of gunshots captured on surveillance video overnight in Goulds. Police say one person was killed near Southwest 216th Street. CBS 4's Nicole Lauren is live near the scene. Nicole, you spoke with the victim's mom. Yeah, Candace, I did. The mom telling me her son was a good man. His name, Elvis Hart. Now, she also tells me he was a local community barber who now leaves behind three children. A mother in shock after her son, Elvis Hart, was shot and killed in this southwest Miami-Dade complex overnight. He was a loving guy. He loved his family. He has kids. He has three kids. Three kids. Three kids. The baby is four, and the oldest is 16. Close to 10 gunshots were fired shortly after midnight. The gunfire heard on this surveillance video. The mom tells us a family member woke her up shortly after 1 o'clock this morning with news a parent never wants to hear. And I looked out the window and she says, Auntie, come downstairs. I said, okay. So I went downstairs and she said, Elvis is dead. What's going through your head? That's it. That's all I can see. Elvis is dead. Heart leaving a lasting impact on this community. Family members tell us he was a local barber. Cuts the people around here who don't, can't afford to get their kids hair cut. He cuts their hair. He's a barber. He's an outstanding person that I can see of and that I know of. And now family members are pleading with people who witnessed this shooting to speak up. They were there. They were there. I've heard, I, I talked to one guy that was there who says, oh, I was upstairs and all I heard was gunshots. Now, as you can see here behind me, police have cleared the area. Um, as far as this moment goes, still no word of an arrest, but you could hear that mother's plea for help. She wants anyone with any information, please pick up the phone and call police, or you can remain anonymous and pick up the phone and call Crime Stoppers. That number, 305-471-TIPS. We are live in Southwest Miami-Dade. Nicole Lauren, CBS 4 News.